Marshall County 911 dispatcher has been disciplined for telling a traumatized teenage girl to, quote, stop whining. Yeah, that girl called to get help for her father who died and his fiance after they were both run down Sunday night by a driver while changing a flat on the side of the BW Parkway. 11 News reporter Kate Amara is live in the newsroom with more on this emergency exchange. Kate. And Donna and Sam, before we play you this re recording, keep in mind that Anne Arundel County officials say this is not acceptable, it is not appropriate, and they know the public feels the same way. Ma'am, ma'am, please stop yelling. Stop yelling, please. That 911 dispatcher won't be taking any more emergency calls for a while. He's been disciplined for the way he talked to a traumatized teenager, a girl who just watched her father and his fiance get hit by a car on 295 North and who was now watching her dad lay dying on the side of the road. So two people were struck? Yeah, they both lay. They just lay. Okay, let's stop whining. Okay, let's stop whining. It's hard to understand you. Anne Arundel County fire officials are investigating. Um, we think the dispatcher, in his effort to try to ascertain information from the caller, used um, a poor choice of words. A poor choice, which Captain Russ Davies says got the operator pulled off the phone. As a result of this, this dispatcher has been moved to a position within the department where he will not have contact with the public. First responders did eventually get to that crash on the Baltimore Washington Parkway near 198 by tracking the teen's cell phone. What they have yet to find? The car and its hit and run driver that killed the girl's father. My father's laying on her and they're just laying here. They're just laying here. It's nothing. They're just laying here. Is there someone else there I can talk to because it's so hard? Brother. It's only my little brother. I'm, I'm talking better than him right now. Mm. Captain Davies wants to be quite clear. While the dispatcher handled that call improperly, his performance did not impact the turnout time of the units or the response time to the emergency. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL PV11 News. All right, Kate, thank you.